In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update the Plug website and send out the Plug newsletter. So the first thing we need to do is update the news page, which is the home page. As we can see here, it says November Workshop. That was back in 2015. It's now March 2016, so uh, it hasn't been updated. So here's how you do it. Um, firstly, you'll need admin access. Once you get that, um, log in and then click on admin area. And the first thing we're going to do is a new news post. And it's best to copy the format of the other ones so we can see August 2015 workshop. We'll create a new one called March 2016 workshop. So we go March 2016 workshop. <clears throat> uh, we don't need a summary. Then what we need is uh, the default layout. So we go to our template icon and we change to plug and that pre-fills it for us. And then all you have to do is just fill out all of these details. Um, all I'm going to do is put coming soon so I don't waste too much of your time um, and I am not the chairman anymore and we'll just do coming soon And you can see what I'm doing there. Just update, oops, just updating the basic and advanced sessions. Oh, made a mess of that. So I just used the um, clear formatting, a uh, remove formatting icon there to bring it back down. And that looks good. Um, another thing to remember is to actually turn off comments or you get all of these strange people from overseas commenting on it that doesn't mean anything. Right, so we can preview it, we can post to database. Um, normally you'd just post it straight to the database. I'm not going to do that at the moment because um, then it would take over the front page of the website. But that's what you do once you've done that. <clears throat> now the next thing we want to do is uh, create the e-newsletter. So once we put it on the front of the website, we then send out a newsletter to all the members so they know when the next meeting is. Uh, the easiest and fastest way to do that is to actually just copy all of the source from this news post. And the way that you do that is you click on HTML, just go Control A to select it all, Control C to copy. And now let's go back to our main dashboard and let's do an e-newsletter, which is called SP Newsletter. We're going to create a new newsletter. And yep, it's going to be going to the plug mailing list, which has 158 members. And um, we'll call it Plug March Workshop. Now, I could just go back to templates and rewrite the whole thing again by adding in the plug template like that. But because I've got the course, I don't need to rewrite everything. I just click on HTML, Control V to paste that content in there. And now I've got all that content. Um, and then all you have to do is you can send yourself a trial newsletter. And that goes to, to the default person, which I think is me. Um, we can change that to you. Just email Bryn at spinningplanet.co.nz if, if you've taken over the newsletters. Um, or you can save the newsletter. Once it's saved, you can then send it. And all you do is click send to queue, and then it adds it into a queue, and you just click like next or submit, and then it sends out the newsletter to everybody. So that's how you um, update the home page, which is the news module, and how you create an e-newsletter. Probably another good thing to know is, let's just leave the admin area. So that would have updated our front page, would have sent out the newsletter, but um, we also need to update these other sections of the website. Because we're logged in, we can see this little edit icon. 
So um, you probably need to go through and add in what all the other workshops are going to be for the next for the rest of the year. And that's pretty easy. It's just like Microsoft Word. Just go in and type them in here, and away you go. Um, and I'll just show you some other pages. So the newsletter will automatically fill itself out. We can see the previous newsletters over here. There they all are. And About Us is a content page, which you can easily edit just by clicking on Edit. should pull that out because I'm not president anymore. And that's about it. Hey, mate.